yes my people welcome back to my youtube channel again lucy nyawera ministry of hope penye wo tunapeana hope eh? yes na kama kawaida ni mimi wenyu nyawera wa kamado mother of two very beautiful children yes so uh first of all i want to thank all of you uh, thank you because mmekuwa mki like the video continue liking the video also comment positively yes na tulisema wenye wana comment negative ni wetu bado wenye wana comment uh, positively bado ni wetu zote ni opinion wanatupatia si ndio yes thank you so much also you are subscribing make sure when you just subscribe make sure me subscribe yeah to kimbie to fikia 100k subscribers yeneke hata sisi tupewe silver plate ama niaje now before i go on bosia tebo ndo nilete bible go bring the bible ndo nilete bible uko kwa mama now before niendele today nataka tuanze na bible verse Lazima tuanze na Bible verse. We must start the Bible verse. Na I don't know kama nini people mnapenda Bible. Let me tell you kidogo. I have come to realize we have so many apps that zimetokea TikTok, Vincent zingine sio zinaitwaje, Telegram, hata hii YouTube tuko. Eh uh, what else? Uh, mention the WhatsApp. All the Snapchat nyingi nyingi nyingi. But I have come to realize at the end of it all there is this book yenye inakwanga na ukweli wa mambo There is this book that inakwanga na ukweli wa mambo Hallelujah Yes And I don't know uh, mimi uh, I've told you that I've come to realize that where there is a living God na niliwaambia this living god you wait upon him this living god you be patient with him amen amen so eh mimi nikiamka asubuhi kuomba eh mimi uamka saa 9 i pray na najua most of the people here wanamkanga pia hiyo saa 9 kuomba so yesterday okay what i do eh mimi you you wenda kama leo nasikia kusoma psalms Nitaenda nichukue Psalms niseme wacha leo nisome Psalms 18. That is what I do. Me I don't open like this when you want just open like this. Me I just say today I feel like reading Proverbs. Let me read Proverbs 9. Naenda nafungua Proverbs 9 na, 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 na soma. So yesterday when I was praying eh nili, nilisema nasikia kusoma Isaiah Isaiah 65. Nilisema tu hivyo venye nimeamka because each and every person akona ile method yenye anasomanga biblia na it is true sio so nilipokuwa nikisoma isaia 65 uh, it's about god punishment of the rebellious i will not read it uh, kila kitu and then msome isaia 65 make sure me soma is talking about how god punishes those people who rebel Amen. But there is somewhere hapa ikishia ilinifurahisha. Okay, it's talking uh, nini? It's talking uh, because it is starting that the Lord said I was ready to, uh, I was ready to answer my people's prayer but they did not pray. I was ready for them to find me but they did not even try. The nation did not did not pray to me. So first of all, in explain how when you when you watu walikosea kumwabudu Mungu na kumuomba Mungu. Hapa inasema eh, eh, nini verse 6 nasema i have already decided on their punishment and their sentence is written down i will not overlook what they have they have done but we repay them amen inaenda ikiendelea 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 but kuna mahali ilinifurahisha nipendi tu dakika moja nisome hapa tuanze ev, eh, ev, verse 13 And so I tell you that those who worship and obey me will have plenty to eat and drink but you will be hungry and thirsty So when you inelezea 
wenye wenye watamworship na wamuobe they will have have and you need plenty to eat and drink but wale ambao wa worship na wa they will be hungry and thirsty they will be happy but you will be disgraced i hope nyinyi sisi wote tunaelewa they will sing for joy but you will cry with a broken heart my chosen people will use your name as a curse nataka mshike hapo isaia 65 verse chapter 65 verse 15 Those people who don't worship and obey God and also obey God's commandment. My chosen people will use your name as a curse. I the civilian lord will put you to death. Amen. But I will give a new name to those who obey me. Anyone in the land who ask for a blessing will ask to be blessed by the faithful God. Whoever takes an oath will swear by the name of the faithful God. the troubles of the past will be gone and forgotten i hope munelewa na i hope mumeshika isaiah 65 verse 15 your name if you don't worship and obey god those people who are chosen by god will use your name as a curse now before i address what i want to address I have first of all to clarify. I said today I want to say something. Leo nataka pia kuwafunza kitu. Tunaambiwa ngwa bird of the same feather flocks together. So don't be worried by those people who are against us. Those who are on our side, those are our birds. Tuna flock together to worship God, to wait upon God. But those who are on the other side they are still flocking together. It's for you to choose which way to go. Amen. Now Leo ni moto moto. Na nilisema hapa kwa Lucy Nyavera Ministry of Hope. Unauliza swali unajibiwa. Kuna mtu ambaye nilisikia ameuliza Lucy Tuambie tu kidogo nini ilifika mahali mkaanza kuita Tabitha. Na sijamalizana na Tabitha, niwaambie sijamalizana na yeye. Mm -mm. And you people nilisema right now, I will talk because when I'm talking I'm healing. Even when I'm talking and healing and praying my God, such kind of verses zinakuja tu. Zinanipatia hope. Zinanipatia mwongozo. There is a, a blessed woman and it a blessed blessed aliuliza Lucy tuambie now i told you when we were there at my father place we were brainwashed tuliko tume brainwashed tuko tumeonesha mama yangu you just to to tulizaliwa kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kanisa kama sai Bruce nikimpeleka PCA ata grow ya PCA si ndio So my father showed us that our mom Virginia ni mbaya, ni, ni mrogi, ni mchawi, eh, hata tukienda na yeye atuta tutasaidika. Such kind of things. And I told you we believed our father vibaya sana because he was a bishop. Na sisi tulikuwa tumeoneshwa Mungu anaongea. Now How did it come to that extent? Tuanze kuita uh, Tabitha mom. Alipokuja, let me tell you guys alipokuja kule nyumbani said do we were waiting for maid but Tabitha akakuja na rori yake na vitu zimejaje na watoto wote wake mboro akua so tukaitwa meeting tukakalishwa chini sisi wote Tabitha akakaa hii kiti my father akakaa kiti inakuanga pale inakuanga ina my father alikuwa anapenda hiyo 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 three sita yote ilikuanga yake analala naeka pilo kubwa hapo analala tukaitwa sisi wote meeting na niliwaambia anything you want me to answer which i know i will answer which i don't know i will not answer tukubaliane hivyo and i told you most of the things that were happening there i was there na niliwaambia hawa watu wenye wanakuja kusema eh hii mtashindanga hii story tutashindanga hii story because at the end of it all si tulikuwa tumenyamaza but eh, tabitha wakatuanza 
even with my father ndo alikuja wakatafutana na beti bayo na nilisema we don't even judge that beti bayo we don't wacha nani na yeye at the end of it all yeye anachukua video na views na wale wengine and that's why niliambia tu alusi nyawera minister of hope at the end of it all sisi si hivi sisi sisi we are so much different with those other people wenye wako huko kando wanaongea vibaya kutuhusu they don't know anything they are just taking views and content tuulizeni sisi hata akina tabitha waulizeni wao whatever they are saying it is well and good amen so mwache kubabaishwa guys na watu naona mkona stress sana na watu wenye mtu ameamka kwake amechukua kamera kama hii anaongea vitu ajui vitu amesikia vitu vitu hata hajawahi kuwa kuwa, kuwa concerned nazo alafu at the end of it all ataingia na hapo akunywe pombe ataingia na hapo afanye usharati wake ataingia na hapo ameze dawa Yes my mama akitoka kwa hii kiti anakulanga kagidheri kake. Akitoka kwa hii kiti akimaliza mambo yake kwa hii kiti nimekalia. Anaendanga hapo anakunywa chai. Anaenda na hapo yeye anaomba. Anaenda na hapo anatoka anaenda kwa ofisi yake. Anaangalia ofisi yake because God has blessed her with an office. Amen. Virginia Wangare kwa TV congratulations. Mumekuwa na ofisi yenu. Hata sisi Lucy Nyawera Ministry of Hope we are still coming. And we pray God for that favor. But wewe umeshikwa na stress. Umeshikwa na stress unasikia eh uwezi, uwezi kosa ku, ku, kufanya video, kuongea mambo mabaya kuhusu vijana. Unajipe pressure na ukitoka hapo utaenda hapo ufanye mambo zako ukimezanga dawa. Wenye wote wako TikTok wakitoka hapo after amepandishwa pressure na story za Virginia anaingia na hapo anakunywa. Eh? Where is Lois listen matunda? Come here. My mom unaonanga akitoka hapa anaenda anakula kakitheri kake na anakunywa e, chai yake ama kauji ama whatever God am bless nayo na tumaji. Yeye yeah, yako sawa na shindia nangi. So you guys wacheni kujipatia stress mingi. Nao watu eh hey, atijui fulani yako wapi anashinda akiongea kitu kuhusu Virginia vibaya wengine ni wivu let me tell you guys wengine hawezi fika the the the, the, the league tunasemanga league my youth tunasemanga league yenye my mama ako lakini ni kwa Mungu because if you fear God you cannot talk ill about someone if you fear God you only you always say the truth and the truth will always hurt and the truth will set you free. My mama is get kwa kiti ya tukanane. She always say what is inside her and what she knows. And what she feels like saying. Hata yeye mtoke the same way. But hao wengine wanaongea huko wanatukanana. Well and good. Kenye wanajitafutia watapata. Ju at the end of it all. Yote tunachianga nani? Mungu. Tumewachia Mungu. Watu wa Lucy Nyawera Ministry of Hope. Akina matunda na Louis Lee waachieni Mungu. Na wale ambao wanasumbuka wanafikiria ati tuja move on, kuna wenye nasikia wanashinda kikuja hapa kwa kwa comments ati move on, move on this family move on. Tulikuwa tumesha move on. But sasa tuwezi nyamaza tena. You know people used to talk eh, behind us. Tunanyamaza tunasema ah, wacha tunyamaze tunyamaze. Right now tuwezi nyamaza. Tunangoja mtu Mungu atutete, akisha tutetea anatupatia direction. Now where wa, was I in the story? So tuliitu hapo kwa, kwa sitting room. Tulipoitu hapo kwa sitting room guys eh? Eh, my dad akatuambia aka eh, eh nini huyu ndio sasa nani eh huyu mnamjua huyu ndio sasa atakuwa mama yenu. You can imagine. Kuna mahali pia dad ulitukosea. Aki. Kuna mahali tu ulitukosea. Hiyo tutasema na ukweli. Na you people you allow me to see. Cuz pia bebe dadu lituchanganya sana. Na that one I'm saying come me. Kuna mahali tu ulitukosea. Kama watoto, ulituchanganya sana. Heri tu ungefanya hii mambo yako kichini chini. Heri tu ungefanya hii mambo yako kwa nyumba ingine. Kama ulikuwa nataka kulea watoto watabidha, ungefanya tu kando. 
lakini si kuleta mtu na tuchanganya tukakaa nikaa tumechanganyikiwa kuna mahali tu dadu likose you just need to accept that cause ulitu changanya ukachanganya watoto yes tukakaa chini my dad akatuambia eh huyu ndio mama yenu na mama yenu si mwenye amesoma class uh, eh, akona ma certificate anaweza kuwa amefika class 5 kama huyu na asome na na, na kuwa akona uerevu mwingi na mama yenu si mwenye amewaza kama ule mwenye atawalea na sasa hizo umemaliza di form 4 unaambiwa hivyo so anakuja kukulea wapi hapo pengine sio kama mnaona na hapo ndio ndio dada kasema mkuu hata mkimuita mama hiyo alisemea tu juju Nao niliwaambia na najua nitakuwa nasema haikutuingia sana kumuita mama sio kama unelewa juu mimi hata tulipomaliza meeting tukaomba tukaimba ati nyumba ikatakaswa tena e, tabitha akaambua amekubaliwa kukaa huko atu guide atupee kila kitu yenye tunataka and everything Tabitha alienda akaosha viombo nikampata hapo akaniuliza kwani hujafurahi na mambo anga mbaya mimi nimefurahia mimi nimefurahia cuz pia nilikuwa nakaa nimechanganyika mimi nimefurahia mimi nimefurahia ni sawa sawa na mimi nikaenda shughuli zangu so haiku imetuingia kwanza kumuita mam kumuita mam kumuita mam ulikuwa unaenda tu namuita mam sometimes kama si mam unataimta una tabitha now the strictness ilikuja tabitha alienda kwanza kuambia babangu hatumuiti mam Sio kama mnelewa na mfunguke macho. Kakesi kakikuja tu. Tu vitu tudogo tu tabitha na tuwekelea. Tuseme umesahau mazoe imemwagika nenda anasema, "Mwanze kukosana na your dad." Unaitwa hapo sitting room. Unapashwa. Hadi unasikia tabitha amesema, "Na huyu hata anitangi, mamu ananitanga jina yangu tabitha." Baba yangu anaingiwa na ile ile me, ile mama, unajua my father ni mtu wa tempa. Na my father ni mtu wa 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 ako na orome. So anakusomesha anakusomesha so tulingiwa na ile uoga blessed because you have had, had, you had asked this question tulingiwa na hiyo uoga sasa tukaanza tu kumuita mam 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 but ilifika mahali even i don't know whether i've told you i've ever told you ilifika hata mahali sisi tukagoma tukaitana mimi thoita eh, moyo na ybk kwa nyumba ile hapo nje seven quarter kwa sasa ametufanyia mambo anatusema vitu kidogo baba anakasirika tunachapwa vio vio So ilifika mahali pia hata tukiwa kule tunaona vile anatufanyia so tuna tu, tukaungana tutaambia baba sisi tutaki tabitha tutaki nini Doita tu ndo alienda akatusema akasema hiyo mpango Cuz Doita alitumangwa duka akaenda kununua nini kitu ikabaki change. Na kwa sasa kule babangu akuwa analeta makeki na nini kutoka tabitha akuje gudi gudi ziliisha. So doita akakula ngumu. Sasa venye alikuja tabitha akasikia doita amekula change ngumu. Akiwa litandiko hiyo mtoto na safari mpaka akatoka damu. Hapo hata ndio doita ndio ajiokoa akasema baba hataki na nyawera tulikuwa tume tume tumegoma tumesema hatutaki tabitha. Tukaitwa sisi wote sasa. It was hell. So ile ile strictness ya kumuita mama 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 mam, ililetwa tu na hiyo eh, strictness ya lazima muniite mama ukifanya makosa kidogo kupeleka kwa baba yangu anasema hata huyu aniiti mama huyu aniiti mama to help with mama now si kwa ni sema hiyo that was not the topic hii swali nimekuwa nikiulizwa na watu wengi. Kwa nini shosho alichukia tabitha? Kwa nini shosho alichukia tabitha? One. Tabitha ni mtu wa zoko. Hata mulisikia juzi. Huku wetaidia shule ile kuraiha. Walienda wakaleta vurugu kwa afta mtoto wake sijui mgani amegongwa na dirisha. Akaita baba yangu. And that's why I'm telling you guys. Mfunguke macho. Mkifungwa macho mimi nakuja na mafungua. Anakuja kuanika babangu ni mgonjwa. Kwa 
kwanza anajua yeye ndo amemgonjesha ame, ame na mapresha. Kimuita shule nasikia babangu alienda huko wakagoroka na walimu. Tabitha akatoka huko. Shule akatoa watoto huko. Cuz ni mtu wa zogo. Cuz alileta alileta ugomvi, ugomvi mwingi sana kule nyumbani kwetu. Tuko sana na my dad, tuchapwe. Mambo mingi sana mbaya. Tabitha ni mtu wa vita. Hawezi kaa mahali na neighbors. That's why mlikuwa mnaona mpaka nyaururu wameleta na juu na Ben. Anasema tuwekele Ben nimerepiwa. Hata wakifanyia mama madharao walimfanyia na zogo. To an extent even my dad started uh, beating my own mom. Na my dad ajawai guza my mom. Let me tell you. I always tell you my father was blessed. Yeah, my father was blessed. Do you know ni mambo ngapi amefanyia huko shosho? Shosho hadi alikuwa anakaa huko ananiambia hata hii stima yenye unaona huku ni kamoza walikuwa wanapanga venye stima itanifikia huko. Do you know ni mambo ngapi baba amefanyia shosho huko? Do you know kwa watoto wote my father ndo alikuwa anatu, anatupeleka sisi wajukuu kwa shosho tukiwa wadogo hivi tukifunga shule every december sisi wote tulikuwa tunaenda huko mimi na davis na ybk mimi na davis na moyo walikuanga wadogo tunajipata kwanza mimi my whole life december mzima mimi ma christmas zote nimekulia kwa shosho kuku my father would buy shopping for shosho hadi anakuja anafurahia hata kama tunafika huko shosho na tutoa vitamba tunapigwa picha na tumia my dad my dad anakasirika juu tumetolewa vitamba hiyo inaishia hapo by the way shosho used to tell me the best son mwenye anapenda ni kamodho because kamodho alikuwa ameshikanga baba yangu hivi i mean kamodho alikuwa ameshikanga shosho hivi shosho alikuwa anapenda dad na dad kupenda shosho <laughs> haingeisha ade or kama ni day two days kama hajapigia shosho unasikia tu wanapanga mambo eh hata watoto wakifunga shule they will come tunafurahia sasa tunatoshana hivi tunatoshana kina Gladys shosho na yeye uko ushago anashona masweta anashona masweta juu tulikuwa ilikonga msimu wa baridi mliona nyeri kuna nyesha shosho would feel so good sana kikuja shosho wanahembera wana wanahagiana wana na baba wanaongea tu mambo nini but let me tell you shosho alikuwa mionanga shosho walikuwa tu wanakosania na my dad i kanisa yake peke yake unasikia mpaka baba anasema hapana tutajua mungu ukweli ni nani you are my you are my mother alikuwa anamuita hivyo vinyo ulisikia mother mother alikuwa anamuita you are my mother Shopping baba alikuwa anapelekea shosho nini? Kwanza nilisema before ni, ni letter kitu ni address, nianze na a story. Even shosho nikienda kumtembelea kwake hata hii siku nienda kumtembelea nikiwa na mimba seven man. Tukiwa tumekaa chini, alikuwa ananiambia. Kwanza alikuanga na kifagio. Alikuanga na kifagio ameweka katikati ya miguu. Unasikia shosho akisema Amu unaona tu shosho anahinyeririka unasikia anauliza eh mmepatana na baba yako kwanza anajifanya sijasikia mmm mmm mm, mm. umepatana na baba yako nataka kujua vile yako because a mother will always be a mother to his son to her son or to her daughter shosho mpaka tuko tunamuitishanga tunaambia uh, baba suambie shosho akuje tutembele Shosho anatoka huko, anakuja na mnama mdizi, anakuja na sweet bananas, anaweka kwa gari. Babangu jua kwa na gari anamuendea stage. Anakuja tunasherekea huko, juu ni shosho tunaongea na yeye. Anatupatia tu story, tu sera sera, tu majini ma ghost. They used to be close friends. Mimi nawaambia kitu ninajua kitu sijui sitaongea they used to be close friend Shosho even used to tell me venye mulisikia babangu kisoma tribute 
alifunzo kupika to pancakes. Shosho alikuwa naita my dad kamodo wapike pancakes because Shosho uh, regardless of her being a teacher she was the best cook. Sijui kama ni mwai wanyesha huko kwa Shosho anakuanga na zile majiko kubwa za keki. Sijui kama mnajua zile majiko kubwa za keki zile za kitambo Wacha hii sasa machine zimekuja za stima zile za kuwasha na moto keki inaiva kweli kweli Mbaka my dad tukikuja ushagua alikuwa tunateremka na anatuonesha hizo majiko shosho venye alikuwa anazitumia They used to be very close friend My dad vitu amefanyia shosho hii boma mnaiona hii My dad akiza tu kubali but I know God's time is the best aongee hapa you people mtashanga. That's why nawaambia, ah watu wanaambiwa story. Adi mtu wako na wanaenda mpaka wanaokotana. You know Tabitha is very desperate. Kani ni kuona amuoni. As we are not desperate because our God anatutetea. Na because our God alitutetea. Na our God we know hawezi kubali tuteseke. Tuliteseka once. Eh, ya maisha but not this time. God hawezi kubali. Na mimi nitaenda kama nimewafungua macho. Beta hii video iende one hour. Tabitha is very desperate. No wonder anazunguka kona zote akileta wenye ataleta wa mtete. But let me tell you, wait God akutete because Mungu akikutetea hata ukiwa hapo, uongee facts. Uongee kenye utaongea. It because of God, because of the living God kila kitu inakuja to light na tabitha anajua my dad akiza muondokea hapo kuisha yeye kuisha yeye na let me tell you tabitha is not living the life that you people you are thinking at he ana live soft life no. hakuna soft life with her desperation e ako kule bara ako kule mara ako huku Mara ako kule akitafuta wa tafuta wote eza oze aliyokuweza but at the end of, of, of it all you are the cause of all this na ukubali you are the cause of all this you came with the prophecies Mungu amesema mimi ndio bibi yako Virginia si bibi yako Mungu amesema hii gari subari wenye Virginia, Virginia amekalia Mungu aitaki tuuze tununue Suzuki a very beautiful nice car. A Subaru car. German. Watu wa German. Watu wangu mko wapi. Kuna hizo Subaru. Zinaitango Subaru German. Hizo. Juzi zinaitango Subaru German. Hizo. My father alikuwa. Alikuwa meambu hiyo inezam serve six good years. Without atikushinda kifanya maripeas. Now. Why Shoshua hates Tabitha? One thing. My Shoshua nipokuja kule. Akapata. Ati. Ati. Mumefungia mimi because I told you it is me. Mimi ndio nilikuwa nafungia my mom. Mumefungia mama yangu kule because of this church. Uko si nini? Eh study room. Na hawa ni watoto sahi walikuwa wananifurahia nikileta mandizi nikileta nini? Sahi wananifurahi. Sahi hata wanajikalisha mauko. Wananiambia vitu hakuna. Tena my dad ameita maishosho hapo kwa sitting room ameanza kumwambia venye mama yangu ni malaya analala na wanaume venye amemkosea kidogo kidogo anasikia ati Mungu amesema kwanza hiyo ndio shosho anasemanga ilimkera sana kusikia tabidha ndio alileta prophecy ati Mungu amesema yeye ndio bibi yake mpaka shosho you know shosho used to be godly and that's why i'm telling you bad of the same what feathers flocks together shosho and mom waliishi pamoja kwa nini hawakuishi na Tabitha kwa Shosho was godly na Shosho loved God na Shosho ali, alikuwa nimekwambia Shosho kitu alikuwa anakosania na my dad ni itu kanisa yake Shosho hawakuwa kosania kitu kingine na my father ni hiyo tu kanisa na Shosho kumbe yeye alikuwa amefunguliwa macho kitambo sana kwa nini alikuwa apendi hiyo kanisa ya my dad hata sijui kama mai na nitauliza my mom cuz mimi sijawahi ona kama shosho amewahi kuja hiyo church ya my dad nitauliza my my, my, my mom cuz leo tunaingia live nitamuuliza 
Nitamuliza mama. Na shosho amwe kuja chachi yetu kweli. Sasa mpaka wale mpaka shosho alale. Aliishi kuniambia na kuniuliza ati Lucy huyo mama alisema nini? Huyu mama anajua kuna Mungu. Huyu mama anajua kuna Mungu. Ukuje kwa mama ya mtu useme, "Hey! Tuogopeni Mungu. We mimi naogopa Mungu saa hii." Ngai, naambia Mungu hata nikieza acho peke yangu. Ngai, ni mimi na watoto wangu. Ngai. Adi wale chocho mpaka alale, alishi tu kuniuliza. Ati alisema nini? Kwanza chocho alikuwa ananiuliza hivi, aniangalie. Anaangalia chini ananiuliza. Ati Tabitha ugiriatia. Ati alisema nini? Na bado wako huko. Unasikia chocho amesema haya. Haya. Lakini chocho anasema huku kwangu nyawera asiwe ikanyanga. Mimi Tabitha hawezi toka huko. Anikujie huko. I will give you a story that Shosho gave me. Kila kitu nitatoa. Mimi mnajua nilikuwa na kaka naenda kwa Shosho. Yes, matunda and Royce Lewis wanani follow they follow me sana they can say. Na blessed they can say. Shosho gave me a story. That when you by dad na Tabitha wali try all their best even after Walitanga unajua by the way huku home walikuwa wamekanga sherehe sherehe ya kuinvite watu ndio sasa my dad ambie watu Tabitha sasa ndio bibi yake I know you know that story kulikuwa kumewekwa party tukaitwa tukakalishwa chini tukaambiwa vile mtu atasema by dad akatukosha hebu rudia vile nimekwambia utasema wewe hebu rudia that's why I told you there is a confidence in you and there, there is a confidence yenye ya kuambia useme kitu That's why I told you must judge to it have been kwa beti bio that there is a confident kama saa hii mamangu ameniambia niseme mbona ninasema nikiwa na confidence even i'm using facial expressions ndio even i'm using my body to move but nikiambiwa because i don't want to forget i'll be like bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe sana okay mimi naitwa lucy there is that but if you have confidence you even express yourself So hata my dad huko alikuwa mele hata nikaa anachanganisha kila kitu. Hata my dad huko alikuwa ameletanga party, akaita mabeshte, akaita watu. But my shosho na my guka hawakukuja. Cuz shosho alishi kusema I don't know Tabitha and I will never accept Tabitha. Unajua kuna mahali nilisikia Tabitha akisema, "Eh my tena eh my tena kwira Kenya ndaka." Unajua mjawa hiyo na huyo mtu? You have never seen that face of that man. <laughs> Anakaanga hivi, ndio midama inakaa hivi. Ale, like a kila Kenya daga. Show us pictures. Kuna mahali alisema hivyo, maitwa na kila Kenya daga. Shosho, thank God I used to be friends with Shosho. Oh, Shosho, may you rest in peace. May you rest in peace, Shosho. Aliniambia venye dad wali hata kama shosho alikata kukuja hiyo party na alikata na shosho alikuwa ananiambia mimi wacha kagwera nyawera mimi kishosho hivi shungekuwa hai okay remember those stories aki shosho alipe story mingi za tabitha na kamodo na nitashitoa jote you people do you know hata tabitha kuna siku alipitia shosho simu akamwambia Hey, I wish you show you are here but I know why. Sai mambo ya Tabitha inaumbuka. I know why kwa nini saa hii mambo ya Tabitha ndio inalipuka. Uambuso ikanyanga hiyo mchanga. Uchukue hiyo mchanga nyole ambao urushe itaimbuka. There is a time Tabitha called Shosho. Akamwambia but I will tell you everything you need to know. Tulisema hii video inaenda wana wa. Akamwambia Shosho, "Gera mwanake wako ne dareka nyanake. Kujia Kujia kijana yako nimemalizana na yeye. Huyo Tabitha mnamuona hapa. Huyo Tabitha mnamuona hapa. Hiyo nayo sasa ikaeka shosho mauchungu zaidi. Shosho akukuja, shosho akaniambia, "Mimi Lucy, your father called me like a week ago." Akaniambia ata anaweza nikujia. 
ndio aende hiyo party we were there now tukifanya hiyo party because my father alikuwa ameweka hiyo kitu party si ndio saturday ama sunday sikumbuki but alikuwa ameweka hiyo party ya ku invite watu ambie aoneshe watu watoto wame accept tabida kama mama na hatuna shida na pia eh, a, nini aonyesha marafiki zake huu ndio bibi yake mwenye amefanya afike hapo hata kama ni chini ya maji eh now kidogo kuna mtu anapiga gate basi Kadi. Geti na piga pigwa. Kujeni mfungue. Sorry guys. Munanialao bado niko home kwa my mom. Na sasa my mom ayuko saa hii. Unaingia na deal na mambo yake office. So si nitakuwa tu hapa nikiwaangalia, tukifanyanga video. Now. Shosho kaniambia ti walijaribu every week mpaka my dad akaambia my shosho, nitakukujia niko na gani? Nitaeka mafuta nikukujie. Ama nikutumie fair and unikukujie. Shosho alikata mpaka Shosho alikuwa anaambia aguka juu sikuguka alikuwa. Alikuwa anaambia guka. Wewe kama unataka kuenda wewe enda. Lakini mimi mambo ya tabidha na tabidha tabidha sitaki. Wewe kama unataka kuenda hiyo fia utatumiwa wewe enda. Alikata mpaka fair. Akaambia kamoto. Sitaki hiyo maneno. Mambo ya tabidha sitaki. I only know Virginia. Nitumie hiyo fair niende nikaangalie Virginia kwenye yako Nairobi. My father kiskevo anawaka, anapoesha simu. Shosho alikuwa nanipa hizi story. Zote. Aya, there's a time, Shosho alikuwa meitangwa, it was ceremony, graduation ceremony, alikuwa meitangwa na nyuki. Akaenda. Unasikia? Na my dad alikuwa natafutanga appointment na my Shosho. Na wambia before, nata, nataka nuoneshe penye pia, Chukia shosho na kamoza penye ilingililia ikakuwa moto moto. Shosho used to tell me these stories. Even the brothers and the sisters can tell because they walikuwa wanambiwa. Uyo sister muliona hapo wa my dad and my brother. Ata jimi mwenye baba mdogo waneza sema. These stories walikuwa wanambiwa. Shosho wameenda graduation eh, mahali ceremony na nyuki. Hata anasemanga ni mungu wa limueka. Juye agenda, agenda graduation ceremony akaka sana uko. Batalika sana. Baba angu anashanga kwa nini baba angu anashinda kimpikia simu. Baba angu anampikia simu. Kumbe baba angu amenda kachukua anko yake mwingine amulete. So, eh, uyo anko sasa ni family member. I'm talking about the family member umbaka wa, wa shushu. Haka mpigia simu, haka muambia venye wanaitananga, nyawera jusho shu, hakona jina yake nyawera, nyawera uko wapi, your son is here. Kumbe, hawambi shosho, baba, hawambi shosho, hamekuja na tabitha. I want you people kumuone, ati wanatumia tricks, but mungu watakuwa lendanisha na watu wake. Mungu walishi kuendanisha na shosho, wasuwa ipatana na tabitha. Mungu wataishi kuendanisha na Virginia. Na let me tell you guys, those people who don't know, that shosho alitoka kama ame to bless. Shosho kama shosho yetu, na kama mama ya baba yangu, alitata kama ame tupatia baraka. Kwanza mimi na Freyke sana, alitata kama ame nibariki mimi na my happy. Ata kama tulienda hivyo mimi na hama hebi tukakwa sana. We still went back. Tukambia shosho, shosho pia katuambia yuma mingine yote imeisha na katubless tena na katuambia kukosangi. Vota mimi na guka tumaiko sana na kukosangi hivyo. I used to be close with my shosho aji. And I am God. We used to be close with him and my shosho. So shosho, anasemanga ajawa yenda mahali ya kachelewa. Ata alikuwa bebangwe na magari venye unapewa ngwa lift. Aku anapata. So alika sana huko. Ah wanampigia simu. Wanampigia imefika saa tatu za usiku wanampigia simu. Wanawaambia mimi niko mahali ceremony, nimekosa means za kufika huko. I want you to see venye Mungu. Aliloerera shosho, alipigania shosho. Juju za za za, za, za tabitha. Zisikuje zishika shosho shosho ajisahau. Because my 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 other shosho wa my mom, mama ya mama yangu, walitumia twizo vitu. But uzuri hata shosho aliendanga Tukiwa sisi wote na pia. Tukiwa sisi wote tuko in peace. And may she also rest in peace. Wana mpigia imefika saa tatu. Wana mpigia. Wana mpigia. Ika fika saa ine. Ah, waka mpigia kwa muambia. Ah, baba waka mpigia. Kamoza waka mpigia kwa muambia. Mi basi ni meenda ndakuja siku ingi. Na wakaenda. 
Imagine after wameenda like that mimi ndio sio akapata lift akawapigia kauliza ni mozi ile mshaenda akamwambia mimi nilishae nilishaenda akakuja Unaona venye unakwanga na marafiki wenye hawaezi kaa chini mwana chomeka kuna kitu anataka kumwambia ama kumuuliza cause even when you have a friend aone tu kitu imemshtua eh kae kae kwani uli accept ta be that tena si atakuja anataka apewe hizo nini apewe hizo deto so hiyo mama akakuja rafiki ya shosho akamwambia jana niliona niliona mr your son kamodo na nikaona huyo family member mwingine sitaki kumtaja jina because right now now eh eh sitaki kutaja watu wenye wa yuko online sana jina na nikaona tabitha shosho alisimama akauliza ateke mimi nilikuwa na cheka hapa shosho kiniapi <laughs> ateke akamwambia yes kamodo came here na alikuja na tabitha na huyo 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 anko shosho atia kungoja alipiga simu akaambia baba live kinanga ubaga hapa tena eh kwanza shosho ananiambia anaskianga kama ata hapa tena tabitha siwai kanyanga na siwai kanyanga mchanga yangu tena na siwai kuja huku kwangu tena na nilisema mambo ya tabitha si hapo napo ndio mkovu hata shoo ananiambia anga hapo napo ndio relationship ya my dad and my father ya my shoo ilienda ikiendana tena akakuja akaongea tu kwa kasimama na my mom ikaisha kabisa but let me tell you that's why i'm telling you watu wa mungu watafuatana na watu wa mungu watu wa ile side ingine watafuatana Watch our for tane vile wanataka. We don't care. Furthermore, we don't need anything from them. Kuna Mungu binguni. Na washosho, it is enough. Alitupigania vita. Awashosho, wherever you are, may you rest in peace. You, you are only enough to us. Those words you said. Hizo 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 words Joshua alisema na akatupigania na akasimama na sisi. They are enough. The rest ni kutusukuma. Maneno ya matunda, maneno ya Lois Lis, maneno ya Jojo, maneno ya watu wangu akina Masi, maneno ya kina Koi, maneno ya kina AC, maneno ya kina Monica, maneno ya kina Mary. It is enough ya kufanya we move, we move on. Lakini ya shosho is enough for us kusimama kidete na ujasiri. Na kujua that tulikuwa na mtu alitupigania vita. Nitasema yote. Tabitha shoshut pia alimchukia. Jupia ni alifanya relationship ya dad iishe na yeye. Cuz kama my dad uh, shosho amekataa Tabitha atashita akikuja huko. Ataleta watoto huko. By the way tangu Tabitha akuje, atakuwa yenda kwa shosho tena. Atakuwa yenda kwa shosho tena. That's why you say you saw after my mom came for us, after my mom rescued us from all that situation the first thing my mom did na kumbukanga alitupelekanga kwa shosho cuz at the end of it all shosho ametupigania vita ama kwanza shosho alikuwa anasikia tuko roisambo bado tuna hustle anasema nyinyi pigeni nyinyi pigeni pigeni kazi nyinyi fanyeni kazi hiyo ingine wachieni Mungu but one day one time God will come Kitu ingine tabitha shosho alikuchukia nayo ni tamaa fisi Shosho alikuwa ananiambia sasa ni nini hiyo alikuwa anaona na kibililia Woi mpaka shosho alikuwa anasema kuna venye shosho alikuwa anasema unajua mimi nilikuwa napenda shosho sana kwa sababu woi ni uto tu vitu tu aliona hapo Uto tu pesa tu aliona hapo Gai Kaine shiko monina ishie Kaishi shitiko motaidi hae. Tama watu wangu ni mbaya. Usitamani yaka kanywele kangu. Usitamani yutu tuyarizitu wangu. Ata kakalipsi kangu wachana nako. Mi ni ulize tu. Ako kalipsi kini kagani. Yutu tuyarizitu gani. Lakini kuna hile tama. Mbaka tama inafanyanga uonohe modo. Tama inafanyanga you destroy someone. 
Tabitha came to destroy all of us. Even my dad, I'm a destroy. Guy. Do you know my father, I can't go on a Tabitha with Tavi. Not a bit of what I could have done. I know what I could say. 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 What I say. My dad, I'm going to say. TX. But God, Mungu, you are, your time is the best. Mungu ni bariki. Mungu na utueke baba yangu hapo. Mimi, I will buy a TX for my father. That one I will. Juizo ndo garizi metokia. Mungu sikia maombi yangu. Now wherever dad you are. Oh, God will protect you because of us. Nita kununulia TX. Land cruiser, I will buy for you. Tunambiwangwa imdomo. Ikonangu. Tisa i my dad had kwana kimbia na piki piki kuona kuona tabiza we taidi. Sa i vile no go pat piki piki. Vile zina cause accident. Kwanza highway kimbizwa nayo. Oh God. Is you fike apple? But mambo zingine ni sisi tunajilete yanga. Hata shosho alikuwa ananiambia, mambo zingine ni sisi tulikuwa sisi tunajilete yanga guys, mambo zingine. Mambo zingine hata ni my dad alijiletea, angeondokea tu. Hata angetuweka tu nje na situa, situache venye alikuwa ametuacha hola halale. Mimi nisijipate jela. Mimi hata heri tu dada angetuachia tu hiyo mansion alifanya tupende. Hiyo mansion alikuwa anatuonesha every Sunday ikijengwa. Hiyo mansion yenye baba ulikuwa natununulia vitu. Hiyo mansion yenye dad tulikuwa happy. Heri tu ungetuachia hiyo na utuachie tu some means of of income. Wewe uende tu mahali pengine because you had money ukae na tabitha. Maybe hata Mungu angekuhurumia. Another thing, Shosho alichukia juu ya, ya Tabitha. Tabitha alikuja, alikuja kuma, kumaliza baba. Hakukuja na, ma, na mambo. Because as a mother you would see. As a mother you would see. Say my dad, who is Jehovah? Staki kuongea sana kuhusu my dad. But God atani bless. I will uplift my father again. Mungu atani bariki. I will uplift. Plift my, my father again. Because nasikia katutukangu kanalia. Wacha ikwe patuani. Ya shosho ni mingi sana. Yes. Because pia nafani kuche ni wambie. Ni kwa nini mambo ya tabitha saa hii inayuboka. Kuna watu wanauliza. Ati yee nyawera. Ati nini niyo ime, ime, e, imefanya. E, uli, umbona ukusema kitambo. Ulikuja ume, mumeanza kusema sahi. Siyo ni drama. Si drama. Si drama guys. There is always time for everything. And God's time is always the best. Unachukua mchanga. Umeambu usuwa ikanyanga. Unakuja maombolezi. Unakieti kwa hile kitu. Na uliambu usuwa ikanyanga hii mchanga. Yes. Uniambu usuwa ikaribia. Usuwa ikaribia vitu zake. Unangoja shoshu alale. Unakuja. Unakanyanga yo mchanga. Unakuja. Unachukua yo mchanga. Unamu. Unamu. Unarusha. Watu. Tuogopeni mungu. Na pia tuogopeni wazazi wetu. Tuogopeni pia wazazi wetu. Kuzi pia wako na baraka. And because naona maita sando kamiamka. Iyo itakuwa patwani. Iya shosho nitaimalizia. Niko na mambo mingi. Ata iyo nitawambia ilifika aje. Akapigia mai shosho kumuambia. Kujia mwa. Unajua vitu zikina ta my dad. I wish my dad. Ungeka chini na shosho. She had a lot to tell you. Alikuwa na mambo mingi sana ya kukuambia. Yenye huko unajua. Alikuwa natuambia sisi, mbaka unambia shosho, shosho, ebu tufanya hivi, tuende pale shosho. Una change to story in a way, awache kufikiria kusu my dad. 
each and every day. Tabitha, you don't know. My show show each and every day. Hakuweke ata kukupigia simu. The first question after amekujulia hali. Ilikuanga. Mumepatana na kamodo. Why? Because she was a mother. And she would also feel the pain. And kamodo was his beloved son. Hakuna mtu waliangalia uh, show show kama my dad. Na my dad alipenda mama yake. That's why my dad alipenda mimi. Funguke ni macho. Cheni nifikishi hapo. I'm still coming. Sijamadiza. I'm still coming. Na nitafikisha message ya shosho kwa kila mtu. Hata we mwenye unaniona. Shosho alishi kusema. Hata we mwenye unaniona muambie hivi, muambie hivi. Wacha nifikishi hapo because of my kasan kanyonye kamiamuka. Because I'm, 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 I'm also breastfeeding. And I'm going to have a daughter. I'm going to have a daughter. I'm going to have a daughter. But I'm going to have a daughter. I'm going to have a daughter. Who you? Who you? Who you? I'm going to have a daughter. 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 People are going to think that you are going to say that you are going to do it. Hey, hey. This is the name. And I said that I was a father. 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 And I don't care what people are saying about us. You are a father. You are a father. You are a father. Wewe ni kusikia unasikia, unakaa chini, unongea vile utongea kuhusu my mom. At the end of it all, we are still here. Na tuendi mahali. Na sisi tunamtegemeanga mungu. Na sisi ya tuwezi enda kutafuta. You will never see us. Hapa tukenda kutafuta watu. Ate furani. Kama u ikaraha haka hapa chini ambia watu kutuhusu. Ambia watu kunihusu. Ambia watu we ni nani kwa familia yetu. I will never. And we will never. Us. Our God. Na shosho. Imetosha. Because at the end of it all. Sisi ndio tuli experience. At the end of it all. Sisi ndio tuli pitia. At the end of it all. Sisi ndio tunajo ukweli. Me being the first. Now that's when you say, man, si ogopi mtu na ogopa mungu. Now when you wanna say, man, drama, continue saying it's drama. Drama. Ama ni series. Is series, ata sidani imefika episode one. I think ini trailer. Ini trailer. Hamjui mambo mingi sana ilifanyika. Kwanza uyo tabitha. Tabitha nataka ni wanesha akuangi haja na my father. Ni vile ako desperate. Na najua my dad akiondoka hapo. Hameisha. Hacha kushinda kisema. Iji, tabitha. Iji, tiviji. Yare, aiku wakadu wanyodo wako kujona. My mama moved on kitambo sana. My mama jawa ilala pale akifikiria mambo ya kamodho. Atika ire ubuturi o shiori. Niyane ire. Niyanyu ire dawasi ya bresha. Depression ne kinyeteko. Iyo hata ni mimi inasumbu wanga. My mom, hawezi kuwa kiangalia mtu na uko na watoto wake wenyewe, hata anaona bado hata wajari kava, hata wajui kwenye wako. So wacha kushido kienda kukuambia watu. Na mother, faya mambo yako, sema kinyi utasema. At the end of it all, hizwe tuehoka ragai. Na we trusted God. That's why God ali tufikisha hapa. That's why God ali send. God will never send everyone. Let me tell you. Aku, aku ongelele, aku saidie, aku tete. God will never send everyone. God yu angalia roho za watu. Anangalia nga roho ya matunda ni ya maimamu. Roho ya Louis Lise, roho ya Jojo, roho ya Kamau, roho ya John, roho ya 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 Esi, roho ya Monica, roho ya Mary, roho ya wale wengine. Ao tu ndio watamsaidia. Ao ndio watamtetea. Ao ndio watamuencourage. Ao ndio watafanya vijina tutuake wa move on. Ao wengine ne kerede. Kerede. Tuki kene kerede. God used akina medha kawani, akina lin na wakaenda. Na God bless them. Na aliwabariki ya aliwafungulia njia. Ata sisi mungu alitufungulia njia. 
na atazidi kutufungulia njia because bado acha ni kwanza nitoke nichukue mtoto aache kusumbuka part 2 and part 3 and part 4 series ndo inaanza tulikuwa trailer series ndo inaanza so guys make sure you subscribe make sure you come na sija self guarding kuna watu wanakuulizia Ebu pin your number. Kuna watu wana kutafuta. Na wakutafuti na ubaya, safeguardi. But I have told them, waenda kwa your comment session, mtu mwenye na kutafuta, comment apo your recent video. And thank you so much. Stand with these kids. Because now my mother I know. So alizota mkonazo wa mnataka safeguardi. Wenye wamenyanganyo wa watoto, ata si lazima ushindo kiuliza mom step, utafollow. Because my mom ni mungu tu. Ata wewe itakuwa mungu. But pia my mama kwa najua mambo na loss sana. Because at the end of it all law, loss na government ilitumika. So enda kwa safeguarding umuulize. Safeguarding ako wapo wamesoma. Atawambia. So guys, thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe. Part 2 is still coming. Part 3 is still coming. And part 4 is still coming. And thank you for those who are appreciating what I am doing. Mimi na disafisha. No wanda tasa hivyo hivyo vasi zina, zina teremuka sana. Na nilisema tusome, muende njini wate msome Isaiah 65. Na mwenye ataweza kukoment hapo, comment u translate, u translate ye watu. Isaiah 65 inamanisha nini? God's punishment to those, to the rebellious. When they don't obey God. When they rebel God. Akina tabitha they disobey God. God's punishment amesema hakuna kitu ingine ni death ni death we di horodio kare kiare paeni god bless you na wapenda sana